This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Let's say we have a finite set of n points in the plane, such that every pair of points is a unique distance away from one another. As in, if these two points are a distance of 3 away from each other, then no other pairs are a distance of exactly 3. Then we're going to connect every point to its nearest neighbor. So like this point would connect to its closest neighbor here. That point, though, would connect somewhere else because there's another point closer to it. Then this point is now already connected to its closest neighbor, so nothing to add here. But this point here is also closest to this one. So now there's three connections for this one point. And this just continues. So as we can see, we don't necessarily get a connected graph, and some nodes can have more connections than others. The question is, what is the maximum number of connections a single point can have? Or what's the highest degree a single node can possibly have? Give it a go if you want, otherwise, let's get to it. The first thing to realize is that no triangles can be formed. Like we can see here, no triangles. Because if you have three points, since they are a unique distance away from one another, then A, we'll start with, will be closest to something, in this case, point B. Maybe the distance away is 5. B is then closest to C, and thus that distance must be something less than 5. Now, in order for a triangle to form, C would have to connect to A, meaning that A is the closest point to C, and thus a distance of something less than 4 away. But this immediately makes no sense. Not only the scale, but we already said that the closest point to A is B. That's why that connecting edge was drawn. But clearly C is closer, at only a distance of 3. So if these were the true distances, then this edge would never have been drawn in the first place. So that's the idea. If you get a triangle with the rules we set up, you immediately reach a contradiction. Okay, now knowing that, let's call the point in the graph with the most connections P. And that'll be connected to an arbitrary number of other points, A, B, C, and so on. So like this edge means that either P is the closest point to A, or A is the closest point to P. It could be either. There can be other connections going beyond what we're seeing, but we're assuming P has the most connections. And because of what we just saw, we know that all the other points around P cannot be connected to each other. If two of them were, then they'd form a triangle, which is impossible. But now let's just analyze the points P, A, and B. And what we're going to do is connect A to B, but with a dashed line. It's not a real connection from one point being closest to another. It's just there because we need to analyze this triangle here. Because in this triangle, the side AB has to be the longest. Because let's say these edges are here because P is the closest point to A and also the closest point to B. Well, then PA is shorter than AB because P is the closest point to A. It's literally why we drew the edge. And same can be said about PB and AB. So AB has to be longer than both. Now what if we say this edge, PA, was drawn because A is the closest point to P? As in, maybe A has another closer neighbor, so they're attached with an edge, and PA was drawn because of all the points in the graph, most of which look about the same distance away from P, A is the one that's the closest to it. Well then, same thing is going to happen. We know PA is less than PB, since we just said A is the closest point to P. But we also know that PB is still shorter than AB for the same reason as before. That edge is there because P is the closest point to B. If A was closer, then edge AB would have been drawn to begin with instead. Thus, if A has another closer neighbor, it simply means we know the order of the side lengths, but AB is still going to be the longest. And by the way, there's no way B could have a closer neighbor just like A does right now. Well, they can't both have one at the same time, because then the edge connecting P to B would never have been drawn. So no matter what, AB is going to be the longest. And because of that, because AB is the longest side in this triangle, 
then the corresponding angle must be the greatest as well, which means that it must be greater than 60 degrees. But that must be true for all of these angles. Any two edges connecting to P must be separated by at least 60 degrees. And since the sum of all these angles must be 360 degrees, then at most there can be five connections for a single point. If there were six connections, then either every angle would be exactly 60 degrees, or at least one would be less than 60. And either way, that's a contradiction. All of them must be greater than 60 degrees. And while that doesn't prove that a five connection scenario actually exists, it's not hard to see if you have just five points all almost the same distance from P and separate them by something like 72 degrees each, then this is definitely a valid configuration with edges showing the closest neighbor for each node. And if you like puzzles like this one and this type of mathematical thinking, then I highly recommend checking out Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is an educational platform home to thousands of lessons in math, science, and engineering, with new lessons being added monthly. And my favorite part about Brilliant is their emphasis on real-world applications, as they show you exactly how to apply the formulas and concepts within their lessons to the real world, and this gives you a much deeper understanding of even the more technical topics. These applications often include interactive exercises and easy to understand visuals, which in my opinion are the most important thing for effective learning when it comes to math and science concepts. And you can try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days by just going to brilliant.org slash Zachstar or clicking the link below. And the first 200 of you to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. With that, going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.